TNO, Defense, Security and Safety in the Netherlands, presents INVIS, the Integrated Night Vision Surveillance and Observation System. INVIS provides dynamic and color-fused multispectral imagery and synthetic imagery for surveillance and observation in low visibility conditions. The portable sensor suite of the INVIS system is contained in a water and dust resistant housing with a single aperture and two built-in displays for monitoring the sensor signals. The sensor suite consists of a small uncooled microbolometer sensitive to long wave infrared or thermal radiation and two digital emission intensifiers, one that registers the visual part of the electromagnetic spectrum and the other one registers the near infrared part. The system further contains an Ethernet connection for interfacing with the long wave infrared camera and the internal frame grabber, a GPS unit that provides precision information with an accuracy of a few meters, an electronic compass that provides orientation and tilt information, and three internal hard disks for offline and onboard video storage. When extremely high precision accuracy is required, the INVIS can be equipped with an external GPS receiver. In combination with the base unit, this receiver provides a precision accuracy less than one centimeter. The electro-optical sensors of the INVIS system have similar field of views and are optically aligned. By using two mirrors, a long wave infrared or hot mirror and a near infrared mirror or dichroic beam splitter. A germanium window serves to seal the sensor housing from dust. The hot mirror reflects the wavelengths larger than 900 nanometers in the direction of the long wave infrared camera. The dichroic beam splitter reflects wavelengths larger than 700 nanometers in the direction of the digital image intensifier that registers the near infrared part of the spectrum. The remaining visual part of the spectrum, that is, wavelengths between 400 and 700 nanometers, is registered by the second image intensifier. As a result, the optical axis of all three cameras are aligned, and the system has no parallax errors. For mobile image registration in rugged terrain, the INVIS system sensor suite can be mounted on an all-terrain platform. The INVIS system provides intensified visual imagery, intensified near-infrared imagery, long-wave infrared imagery, Imagery fused by the patented TNO color the night fusion method, which will be introduced later in this presentation, and synthetic imagery representing the operating theater. These synthetic image images provide a virtual view of the operating theater from either a first or a third person perspective, and a tactical view of the area, visualizing the system field of view and also enabling a material view. The virtual viewing mode allows the inspection of buildings by simply turning off the representation of their walls and the creation of free lines of sight by simply turning off the representation of vegetation. The INVIS sensor images are fused and represented in a natural color setting. There too, the individual visual, near infrared and long wave infrared images are initially assigned to the red, green and blue channels of an RGB false color image, which is then displayed in a natural color setting by applying the patented TNO real-time color the night mapping. The TNO patented color the night mapping is based on the relation between false and true color RGB values. This relation can be determined from a corresponding false and true color image pair, obtained by registering a typical scene of interest, both with a standard color camera and with the INVIS system. And we will now show how this is done for a multispectral image consisting of two bands, visual and near infrared, and represented in a red-green false color representation by matching pixels in the red-green false color image representation to corresponding pixels in a true color image representation, a relation is established between all possible false color red-green values or sensor output combinations and all colors that may occur in the true color red-green and blue representation of the scene. The pair of false and true color tables which are shown here as insets together represent the color lookup table and by replacing the false color lookup table by its true color counterpart, the fused multispectral image acquires a natural color representation. Swapping color tables is a simple operation which requires no processing power and which can be done in real time. Here is an example of the transformation of a three-band false color multispectral image consisting of visual, near infrared and long wave infrared into a natural colored one. First, an intermediate image representation is obtained by mapping the three bands to the three channels of a false color RGB image. Then, the color the night remapping is applied to give the false color RGB image a true color appearance. 
In this case, the color remapping is derived from a true color photograph of the scene. When no photograph is available, it can also be derived from a corresponding synthetic view. It's even possible to use Google Earth, Street View or Cyclone Media images to derive a mapping. Once the color night mapping has been derived for a given environment, it can be used to represent similar environments. The similarity requirement is not strict. For instance, a mapping derived in a typical urban environment will work well in most other urban environments. Thus, a limited set of urban, maritime, desert, rural and possibly aerial color mappings will serve to give most environments a natural color appearance. Different applications require different color mappings. Urban reconnaissance requires an optimal representation of man-made objects like buildings and streets. Search and detection requires a representation in which visually camouflaged targets pop out. Navigation requires a representation in which roads clearly stand out against water or grass. A fused image can provide more information than each of its individual component images. For instance, intensified images usually provide a good representation of a rural or urban background, but targets like people or vehicles often do not show up in these images, especially when they have low visual contrast. Thermal images typically represent humans and cars with running engines, since these have a high temperature contrast with their background. However, the background itself is often washed out in thermal images when there is not enough temperature contrast in the scene. A fused image then shows the location of humans and cars relative to other details in the scene. This information cannot be obtained from the individual input images. Additional advantages of Im image fusion are an increased system robustness when one sensor fails the other one takes over, a decreased false alarm rate. Human observer experiments have shown that the use of appropriate color mappings yields faster recognition of the gist of scenes, improved perception of depth and improved target visibility. This example shows how color denied mapping helps to increase the distinctness of different materials in the scene. Intensified and thermal images of a road are mapped onto the red and green channels of a false color RGB display and then rendered in national colors by color denied mapping. Notice how easy it is to distinguish the tarmac road surface from the grass and the leaves next to the road. For comparison, we also show a standard night vision goggle or intensified image of the same scene. Notice how hard it is to distinguish the road in this representation. Finally, we show a true color photograph of the same scene, which shows how closely the color of the night representation approximates a daytime view of the scene. Fusion also increases situational awareness. This example shows an intensified visual and thermal image of a soldier behind a cloud of smoke. The soldier cannot be seen in the intensified image. The thermal image clearly depicts the soldier, but doesn't show the cloud of smoke. A false color fused image shows that there is a soldier behind the cloud of smoke while the color denied representation also shows that the smoke is in fact orange, which is actually true as can be seen in a similar daylight recording. The Invis system also has real-time image enhancement capabilities like temporal noise reduction, scene-based non-uniformity correction, dynamic super-resolution and local adaptive contrast enhancement. This example shows a three-band multispectral image of an urban scene. This is how the false color representation of this scene looks. Color the night mapping derived from this photograph gives the false color representation a natural appearance. Dynamic noise reduction removes most of the noise from this image, while local adaptive contrast enhancement makes most details clearly visible. Similar results are obtained with the color remapping that is derived from a synthetic view of the scene. Although the colors are not entirely realistic in this case, the color the night representation still provides a good sense of depth and makes it easy to quickly grasp the gist of the scene. Here we show the effect of contrast enhancement and noise reduction on a dynamic near-infrared image. The upper left part shows the original near-infrared sequence. The upper right shows the image sequence after contrast enhancement. The lower left shows the effect of noise reduction, while the lower right shows the effect of contrast enhancement on the noise-reduced version of the sequence. Small details are much easier to discriminate in this enhanced representation. Here is another example of real-time dynamic image enhancement, this time on a long-wave infrared dynamic image sequence. The 
EMV system has several different applications. The system can, for instance, be used for mission preparation, since a synthetic scene generator allows virtual drive or walkthroughs of the environment. The inset shows how the simulated position can be mapped onto Google Earth for real-time positional awareness. This video shows the registration of an actual daytime reconnaissance mission. The inset at the upper right shows the corresponding virtual drive-through that was performed during the preparation of the mission. This clip shows the registration of an actual nighttime mission along the same route that was inspected previously in daytime. This time, armed persons are moving across the scene. They clearly show up in the thermal image shown on the lower right, but they do not appear clearly in the intensified and near infrared imagery shown on the lower left and lower middle respectively. The call of the night representation shown on top clearly represents all relevant details in the scene and provides a much better sense of depth. Here, a standard intensified or nice vision goggle image is shown for comparison. Notice how much harder it is to distinguish different materials and details in this type of imagery. Recent technological developments enable the application of color denied in compact portable devices. This allows the deployment of the color denied for dismounted surveillance operations. The INVIS system can also be deployed for local area surveillance at night. This video shows a suspect escaping and disappearing behind a building. Starting at the upper left and going clockwise, we see an intensified visual and night vision goggle image, a thermal image, diffused color the night representation of these images, and a synthetic view of the scene. Once the suspect has disappeared from the field of view of the inverse sensors, synthetic representation can be used to inspect the area around the building before actually entering it. Notice the clear representation of the barbed wire in the foreground of the Call of the Night images. The barbed wire is hardly visible in the intensified images and is represented in the thermal, but is more easily distinguishable in the Call of the Night version. When there is reason to believe that the suspect may have entered the building, the virtual representation can be used to inspect the inside of the building, to see where the entrance sites are and where he may be hiding. A bomb hole is discovered on the lower left corner of the building where the suspect may have entered. A bird's eye view may be used to find an optimal location to set up the INVIS system and to assess the best coverage of its sensor suite. The virtual representation can also be deployed to determine the location of all exits and the escape routes that are most likely to be used. Here the suspect deploys a smoke grenade in an attempt to escape unnoticed behind the smoke screen. The smoke does indeed completely obscure the visual and near infrared images. However, the thermal sensor is not affected by the smoke. Although the smoke shows up in the call of the night image, all parts of the scene remain clearly visible at all times and are rendered in natural colors. After the suspect has escaped from the building, an aerial synthetic view can be deployed to assess possible escape routes. A classification representation helps to determine the trafficability of the terrain by showing where rivers, roads and houses are located. Finally, the system can be remotely controlled and used for physical inspection of buildings or hazardous sites. This concludes the presentation of the TNO INVIS system. For further information, please contact TNO Defense Security and Safety in the Netherlands.